name's Colton Udall. And I ride the uh, 2011 Honda CRF 250R, and I'm riding the E1 class. Destry Abbott, riding the Kawasaki KX450 in E2. Kurt Caselli, 2011 ISDE here in Finland. I'll be in E2 on 350. It's my first time actually racing a uh, 350 in six days, so I'm kind of excited about that. And uh, ready to race. Jimmy Jarrett, riding E2 on a CRF 450 Honda. Uh, my name's Russell Bobbitt, and I'm riding the E2 class on a KTM 250XC. Nathan Canny, I'm from New York. I'm riding the KTM 505 SXF. We're in uh, Finland. It's amazing. This place is awesome. Uh, we've heard a lot of things coming to the six days about how nice the country is and the people and how we really needed to come. And, and uh, I think it definitely lived up to its expectations of being an awesome place. Yeah, we're in uh, Kotka, Finland for uh, the 2011 ISDE. I think it's the 74th or something like that, maybe? I'm not even... Is it the 86? See, I don't even know. But it's, it's a lot, so it's pretty cool. It's, it's pretty awesome to be part of this, and it's always one of my favorite events of the year. The Six Days is just one of those events that you really enjoy and always kind of look forward to going and race. It's just the most prestigious race I think that you can do in the off-road world and uh, it's just all around a great race to test your abilities and you know uh, reliability and skills all in one. ISD is just a cool event you know you don't really get to race the guys that we race with in other countries and it's it's cool that the different riders from the US all come together as one team instead of racing each other. Yeah there's so much about it it's a, it's a really cool race it's a lot of fun um, and it's got like so much allure in the history, but also because we have a really good team, a lot of camaraderie amongst the, all the American guys on the team together. And uh, now every year the team's starting to do better and better. So, you know, it really makes you want to be a part of it and really motivates you to, you know, do your best and do your part to help the team do better because, you know, you know the rest of the guys are doing the same. For, for everybody that doesn't know about the ISD and how it works, it's totally different than really what we do in the States and that's what makes it so hard for us U.S. riders to come over here and compete, you know, it's, it's a totally different style. It's not six days of just pinning it going wide open. You basically, it's kind of what a little bit of what the Enduro format is at home now, the new format where it's a trail pace, you know, all you really need is a stopwatch. But you have to stay on these tight schedule, basically work on your bike. No one else touches your bike for six days. You change filters, tires, and you have the small time frame that you have to do all this. And then you have special tests during the day, seven, eight special tests where you get there and it's full moto style for two, three miles, whatever it may be. And all those scores, you know, that you put together are basically, as long as you're staying on the schedule, will be your overall score versus everybody else. And, it's a lot more difficult than it sounds. It's, it's tough because you have to be really good all around, rider, mechanic, you know, moto, all these different you know, elements and uh, you know, mentally everything. It's, it's what makes this racing awesome.